Okay, I've done a little bit of tidying up in my drawing. I've smoothed out the nose. I've added a little fillet there. I've smoothed out a rear. I went inside my body and made sure I named all the pictures because that's good practice, which means now I'm ready to start a drawing. So what we're going to do is to go home and start a drawing. The very first thing to do is to get a sheet and make sure you've got the right size before you draw anything else. In Australia, we use A3. Hit OK, and now it's now updated. One other thing to make sure we get right to manage and styles editor. In Australia, we use third angle projection. By default, in Venice, we set up for American third angle projection. We're going to change that. Under view preferences, make sure third angle is selected, hit done. If it asks you to save, do so, because that means in future you will no longer have to change that. If you ever do want to edit the title block, you can double click on it. Or edit definition. And now you're inside the title block. For instance, it's quite mixed up a lot of the page, so you might like to delete and cut down some of the things. You can see there's a variable there. And it will substitute in whatever the job title is, sheet size, things like that for you automatically. Okay, so we're ready to actually place some views. Always start with a base view. Because we have our car assembly open, it's going to come up. And we might start with the right view. And we hover over we can see going to be when it's placed on the page. It's probably not quite going to fit in this drawing, so we'll need to change the scale to half or one to two. And then you can see we should be able to fit our views from there. Once we click for the first time, that's first view, and we click to place the subsequent views. I want to have a 3D view somewhere on the page. Not very obvious, but once we've placed them, right click, hit create. This game will in fact exit out and you'll start again. Now we're on this view with no other tools selected. We can click and back and move around those views to place them. When we move the center view, you notice that the other one moved to stay in alignment. And just wait a little bit of space here. And we're ready to start doing some mentioning. Whether you see hidden detail lines or not, line weights, all of those things, it's all in the style editor. One other thing you can do is to, for a single view, to right click and edit the definition. Somewhere in here. I think it also works if you just double click on the border. Yep. And for this one, I might actually like it red because it's a bit easier to interpret on the page. Okay, we're going to do some annotation. Imagining looks almost exactly the same as a 2D sketch. Click on either a single line or two that you want a dimension between. Third click places the view. You can ignore this and hit OK. The reason that comes up is so that you can add some annotation to your dimension. So for instance here, if it was rule 6.1, not sure if it actually is, but if you wanted to annotate that you were trying to meet 6.1 with that particular dimension, you can now do that. It's a really good idea to make sure you're going to the book and get all of the rules. Other things you might like to do are adding a label to things. So we have the text here. I can snap that to my virtual cargo. When I'm done, go continue. And then it will let me write in virtual cargo. I can click and reposition any of these later on. Ask in the rules that things like the virtual cargo are really well shown. One thing you can do is to make sure you've got a particular view selected. So if 
it's going to expand that. So that is selected. And now under annotate, we get start sketch. There is also a start sketch underneath place views. That will not be what we're about to do. Make sure you're under annotate and view is selected. Long we start a sketch, we can use our tool and brace. We now have our full shape. If not, we can add in those couple of lines. Okay, if we go fill any luck that will highlight and then we can set the color of that to something a little bit fainter and now we can just sketch and the cargo has been for us obviously with that in the side views so it'll good idea according to the rules to shape the wing surfaces as well as particularly from above the so you showing sheets by coming up here and I think there is a sheet. So for instance on the second sheet we have a good idea to name them as well. We might start by placing a base view but instead picking just one of your files. So for instance I like to, might like to do my virtual I'll go for starting with the top view of that and definitely not at one maybe one one. That's completely redundant, but to give you an example of how you might do a section view, you can click on this, click on the view that we want to do it for, draw the line snapping to the center. Right-click, hit continue, and that'll give us a chance to draw our section view out on the side. Now, for a complicated part, such as a wheel in professional class, I mean, like this would be really good at showing your internal workings. But it's also not too bad for this, just a little bit done in this case. It would be advised for you to go through the rules mention everything that's in the rules just to show that you're compliant. Is there as many different views as you need? For instance, in development and professional, if you have separate wings, wheels, front wings, do a drawing for each one at one to one scale. Go through and do all the crucial dimensions, particularly those that time penalties apply to. Don't forget to save your work, of course.